to wonder what had happened to you all. Sorry, but we missed the train. The kettle truck broke down again. The what? The school bus that takes us to the station. Oh, I see. Where's George? Well, she's round the back somewhere. Can we go and find her? Yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> well, Mr. Rogers, holidays have begun. Ah, yes. <laughs> but still, it won't be as bad as usual. That Tudor fellow will keep him out of mischief. But I thought he was only for me and Dick, because of the scholarship exams. He was, but then Dad got my school report. And what with that and my being ill, he thought it would be a good idea if we all had lessons. Your spots have all gone. I know, I was officially d measled this morning. Who won the tennis cup? Alison. What? Alison Drake? Lucky for her I was ill. I'd have slaughtered her. You didn't last year. That was a fluke. Come on, let's go and tell Daddy here. They're here, Dad. Hello, Hello Uncle Clinton. Clinton. Hello there. Good to see you all. George, I'm trying to work in here. Sorry, I just thought... It's all right. In future, the study is out of bounds, okay? OK, we'll remember, won't we? Of course. Of course. Now, would you please all move out of here? See you at lunch. That looks interesting. What's he working on? Oh, some new thing for the government. Top secret. Shouldn't think so. Morning. Hello, Mr. Rollins. These are my cousins. They've just arrived. Ah, oh, it's uh, Julian. Pleased to meet you, sir. And uh, Dick. Hi. And Anne, isn't it? Hello. Well, there'll be no work today. Great. Well, you need time to settle in, but uh, we'll start first thing tomorrow morning. After breakfast. Shh, be quiet. Nice to meet you. Bye. He's really frightened of Timmy. <laughs> he seems all right. Well, he said we could have lessons outside if it was fine, so he can't be all that bad. Quick, it's nearly time for lunch. Go and change, then straight after lunch we can go over to Kieran Farm. What for? Wait and see. I've got a really top secret to show you. Are you ready? Yeah. Wow! That's terrific! Does it go anywhere? No, it ends in a blank wall. It's some kind of hidden cupboard. Here, you can have a good look at it if you want to. Thanks. Oh, this house is full of funny little things like that. Here. That's neat. Oh, they were clever, you know. I suppose in the olden days, people needed a good hiding place for their money and things. Before there were banks. Oh, mm, that's right. Could have been used by smugglers. <laughs> oh, very likely. And according to all accounts, there was enough of that around here, too. Now, what would you like? I know, some strawberries. Fresh from the garden. I picked them just before you arrived. Dick? Yeah? What are you doing? Nothing much. Well, hurry up. We're going to have some strawberries. OK. Here you are, my dears. Help yourself. You need a bit of sugar. Oh, yeah, I love them. Oh, aren't they juicy? Mm. Mrs. Saunders? Yes, dear? Could I go upstairs and show them the cupboard? It's got a false back to it. No, my dear, I'm afraid you can't. I've got two gentlemen staying here, and one of them's in that room. They're photographers. They must be the two I saw yesterday. 
down by Karen Bridge. Mm, very likely they do uh, calendars and things, I think. One of them's quite well known. Hey, look at these! They were behind a loose stone in the wall. There's a sort of hole. Well, I never. And I've lived here all my life. What's it about? I haven't got my glasses. Oh, it's all handwritten recipes. I think. I don't know what to make of this. It looks like a part of some old game or other, maybe. Via Occulta. That's Latin, I think. I gave up Latin. So did we, worse luck. I know someone who will be able to read it, though. Via Occulta. Oh, well, that means a secret way. Secret way? Solum, lapidum, uh, pares lignus, a cellular. Uh, well? Uh, something to do with a room facing east, wooden panels and a stone floor. Oh, and a cupboard. I bet those squares represent the wooden panels. And the one with the cross is the one you press to find the secret way. Can we go to the farm this afternoon? No. You've got maths this afternoon, and you've got an English composition to write after that. What about tomorrow, then? You could come too, Mr. Rowland. Hmm. Depends on how hard you work today. Right. Let's go back to French irregular verb, shall we? Oh. Timmy? Timmy, what is it? Timmy, what is it? What's wrong? Come here, silly boy. What's wrong? Timmy, come here! Roland, I really am. I should think so. That dog's mad and dangerous. He should be locked up. What the devil is going on? He attacked me. That dog attacked me. Are you all right? Well, I think so. Well? I'm sorry, Mr. Roland. I really am. He's not usually fierce like that. I just came down to get a book. I didn't want to put the light on. Didn't want to disturb you. He must have thought you were a burglar. Well, no bones broken. Let's forget it. I'm afraid we can't do that. What are you going to do with him? Lock him in the shed outside. And from now on, that's where he's sleeping. We've been looking for you everywhere. Don't you want to come with us? Where? To the farm, to find a secret way. Is he going? Who? Oh. Who do you think? Mr. Rowland. Yes, he said he'd meet us over there. Ah, oh, well, I'm taking Timmy for a walk this afternoon. Have a nice time with your precious Mr. Rowland. Well, it's the only one in the house with wooden panelling, a cupboard and a stone floor. Ah, oh, come in, Mr. Wilton, Mr. Thomas. Meet some of my young friends. They're here on a treasure hunt. Oh, sounds exciting. Well, not exactly a treasure hunt. We're looking for something called the secret way. The uh, occulta. Well, well. I'll go and put the kettle on. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. Look at this, Henry. This room's out. Because it faces south. And according to the code, it has to face east. Do you think it's just a hoax? Could be, I suppose. Still in Latin. Are you the Latin scholar? No, he's not. Who translated it for you? I do. Hello, Mr. Rowland. Meet Mr. Wilton and Mr. Thomas. How do you do? Hello. Nice to meet you. How do you do? But he knows them. I saw him talking to them. He didn't seem to know them. Are you sure you're not making a mistake? Quite sure. It was him, all right. George? Yeah? 
What are you doing? I'm going to get Timmy. That shed leaks like anything. And he hates thunderstorms when I'm not with him. But Uncle Quentin will be furious if he finds out. Anyway, you can't. He locks the shed every night. Yes, and then he leaves the key in the study. And unless you tell him, he won't find out. Because by tomorrow morning, Timmy will be back in the shed and the key will be back in the study. Of course I won't tell. Good morning, George. May I ask you what exactly you're doing in my study? Are you or are you not responsible for this? No, I didn't do it. Very well, then. Go. These test tubes contained the results of two months of work. Two months. Did she say anything? I tried to talk to her, but she just rushed past me and straight up to her room. I think she's very upset. She's not the only one. Quentin, you are sure? It's not possible that someone else might have... Someone else? Who? You? Roland? No, I'm afraid it was, George. I'd forgive her if she would only own up. Well, if it wasn't George and it wasn't us, then who was it? Mr. Roland. It must have been. Why? There isn't anyone else. That night, you know, when Timmy went for him, maybe he was up to something then. He said he'd gone downstairs for a book. At half past two in the morning. Mm. Just imagine. He's down in the study, up to whatever he's up to, when he hears George coming downstairs. He's startled and knocks over the experiment. Not bad, but it's only a theory. We want to prove George innocent, don't we? Of course. Then there's only one way to do it. From now on, all of us watch Roland like hawks. Oh, it's no good. This is a waste of time. We'll give it another half hour or so. I'm in the clear. He thinks his daughter did it. Good. Where is it? Is this everything? I think so. Well, uh, I'm not sure. 
Be sure, Roland. Photograph it all. As soon as possible. Right. Just gotta get Timmy in case. Okay. What if he doesn't come? Then we'll just have to wait for every night until he does. Now, let's see where we can hide. George? Yeah. George, wake up. It's four o'clock. He won't come now. Oh, yeah. I'll wake the others, OK? Right. Hello, Timmy. Suppose I'd better take you back to the shed. Stone floor. And eight panels. I've got it. I think I found it. Found what? The secret way. Have you got your compass? And this room does face east. No good. Hey, look. Twist it. Just come go. on. Come on, a bit more. The other way. way. That's it. Oh, it's very it's rusty. Way. Pull harder. Ah! Dick, watch out. The floor's gone. Hey. Where to? We found the code at Curran Farm, didn't we? That's where to. The bedroom cupboard with the false back. Come on. Oh, can we get through? I don't know. A chimney stack. Come on. I bet we are at the farmhouse. And I bet the cupboard's behind this door.
that's fabulous. I don't know how to thank you all, but I can promise you one thing. There'll be no more lessons these holidays. Get 